dear folks, the day starts with an ambulance. Oh dear, dear folks, there it is. As I said in my previous video, there's always an ambulance here. Sad start to the day. Right, good morning everybody. Yes, indeed, very early. Very early, it's such a lovely day. I just thought I'd get up early and come down to do a little video down here at the front of Brody Fair to show you what a beautiful place I live. Thank you. Now, Brody Ferry used to be an old fishing village, but it's kind of like a little suburb of Dundee. And you can still see some of the, uh, the wonderful little cottages and streets down the front here. Now, we have this street here, it's called Bath Street, okay? Now, Bath Street was basically what they used to do. They used to come down the street and have a bath. Uh, there was a lady living in the cottages along there. They would get the baths out and they would scrub all their, the husbands as they lined up, kept them clean from the salty water. Bath Street. Oh, park benches, folks. Park bench, everybody. Here we go. Got two of them down here. And I've been very professional today, folks. I have my dad's tripod, the one that I lost at uh, Pennon when I was there. Bro wasn't there, but I was there in Pennon. I left it. I left it on the harbour, man. I can't believe it. I drove all the way home before I realised I'd left the uh, the tripod on the harbour. So luckily somebody found it and they handed it into the pub, and I managed to get on Facebook um, one of one of my subscribers, man. He managed, or I think it was a he managed to uh, collect it and post it or take it down to Aberdeen, one of Bro's shops, and uh, we got it back. So fantastic. I don't know what this old stone is here, folks. I'm not too sure what that's all about. Now we're down the front uh, where the women used to clean all the fish right here. This very bit here, all the way along here, man. This was all used for scrubbing and cleaning fish and hanging them out to dry or whatever they did with the fish. The husbands would come in from the North Sea, the cold North Sea in their boats, dump the catches here, probably go to the pub, and the women would clean and scrub the fish. There's the lifeboat folks. Now on this plinth here, there was an Ur Wally, but he's gone folks. Ur Wally has gone. Ur Jag instead. It was a bit wobbly. Right, we'll walk out to the end of the pier. CBD here folks, I'm going to have to be careful. Now the currents here are really strong, look at this. Those currents, man, wow. Cause many a problem for folk. Folks, Brody Ferry Castle. My right, folks are right down here under the pier. Look at this, it's very seaweedy, so it's a bit slippy. Just trying to get a photograph of the castle there. Right, we'll head back now to the famous Brotty Ferry phone box, the only one left in Brotty Ferry. So we're going in. We're in. Right, here we are inside the famous Brotty Ferry phone box. It's not quite as famous as the one at Pennon, where I was, but Bro didn't go. And the one at Pennon was used in Local Hero, and this one was just, hasn't been used in anything yet, but you never know. So, let's see if it works. Was a tone. Hey, Bro, yeah, it's Jag. Yeah, how you doing, mate? Where are you? Down in Manchester. I know. When are you coming back? You're back for Sunday for an adventure, will you? 
Yeah, that's good, man. Okay. Right, listen, bro. Take it easy. Okay, it's a lovely day here. Or is it raining down there? Oh, what a shame, man. Anyway, listen. Take it easy, mate. See you soon. Bye. Poor bro. My folks are going to stop for a bit and just have some breakfast now. I'm actually starving. So we're going to go at Greg's and get a coffee and a, a bacon roll. Yes. Now, I might be at Vizoki's. Possibly the best ice cream ever, man. They do some incredible flavours. What have they got now? They've got some ice cream challenges here. Are you up to the challenge for the finished touch of meal if you have enough space left? Wow. Award winning ice cream. Yes, there we go. Look at all this. Wow. Crikey. Loads. Goodness. Breakfast, folks. Look at you. Fantastic. My folks, the bacon roll and coffee were excellent. Really, really good. Great service there from the girl in Greg's as well. So we just have a wee stroll now. A long look at Brossy Ferry Castle. We're going to find out how defendable, defendable was Brossy Ferry Castle. There it is, Brossy Ferry Castle. Well, folks, here we are. So, how defendable? was Brutty Ferry Castle. Well, obviously it's got the sea from that side, so it's pretty uh, pretty defended that way. Now down here though, right underneath the castle itself, we have the remains of where the moat used to be. There used to be a moat here, folks, running all the way along here. Just a, a little moat. So that was uh, defended. There's the main door and the drawbridge. Going under the drawbridge, there it is. So from this end, People were attacking it. They had to sort of clamber up here. And round this side, of course, we have the sea, which makes it pretty impenetrable. And it's really windy now. There it is, look, along there. Now, back in the olden days, they didn't have the guns that were up there. That was back in the World War. They put guns in here. But look at this. Looking out to the sea, man. Anybody coming in, any boats coming in, to try and raid the harbour or anything, boom, whack, cannons, I think, boom, whack, cannons, right in the back of your napper, boom, a boom, a boom, a boom, your boat sinks, man. So, yeah, very defendable from this side, look at this, an awesome, an awesome sight. I think Oliver Cromwell uh, came here and ransacked the place back in the, whenever Cromwell was around 1600 or something. Yeah, look. And the treacherous tides there really are bad. The sandbanks and tides are really hard to navigate. You really need to know where you're going there. So that is a very defendable from this side. Look at that. And with the guns sticking out there, a great, a great defended position. And you've got the wall that runs all the way along this way as well. So yep, very defendable. I don't know if defendable is a word, folks. I've maybe just made that up, the gun ports, folks. Right, folks, here we are down at the other side of the castle. Now, as you can see, it's got this massive wall that goes all the way around. So it's, it's uh, 
Again, very, very robust and defendable. So, as you can see, all the way around here, we've got this wall. And once again, if the enemy comes in on the sea there, we've got the spy holes out there to see. So, boom, cannons again, right on top of them. Oh, somebody down there, man, damn it, look. So there's the wall, and the, so very, very defendable. And right down on the beach front now, once again, the wall's got rocks there as well, folks. Got rocks right across the, uh, actually I'm sinking into the sand here very sinky. Anyway, as you can see it's got this massive wall running all the way along and when the tide comes in the boats are trying to get up there it's just I think it would be impossible to to get in there. So as you can see yep again very defendable. There we go. So I'll give it eight out of ten on the defendable mark. <laughs> Incredible. Big big walls all the way along and there's another one there look this side just there. Look at that. There it is. And it's been very cold down here, very windy in this bit. This particular bit. It's lovely and sunny up that way, but we come down here. Goodness me. My eyes have started to run. Oh god. Oh, those teeth are right. I believe is the uh, the old barracks for the mariners right here. Look at this. See now it's lovely and sunny and I'm, I'm all warm again. Crikey. Protected right here. Yeah behind me that used to be the uh, the sub submariners home or something. Something to do with the, the submarines. Well look at the plaques where it says. Folks, submarine yeah, Right, so that's the uh, the Mariners building. Used to keep all the submarines and the uh, the mines in that building. It's built in 1880. There it is, folks. Look, it's just uh, I think it used to be bigger than that. But uh, that's where it used to keep all the mines and all the bits of the submarines in there. Or so it says. <laughs> yeah, so seemingly in the 1800s there was a, a fear of attack on these coastal areas, so these mariners went out and laid explosives and mines in the estuary there. There was a volunteer division. Uh, but they, uh, that's a, a great, scary job, laying mines in the estuary there. So that is the remains of the, the mariners' quarters. Excellent. A lot of history down here, folks. You've got the castle, the barracks. We've actually got another castle, Claypot's Castle. We are a two-castle place, man. It's a wonderful place to live, Brighty Ferry. Look at this. I mean, just take it for granted you come down here and look. We've got water and sky and sun. Excellent. Hey, folks, what's this? What's this? He's almost spiz, isn't he? Spy. Almost spiz. <laughs> 